for this press conference. I'm Nambra Wimi. I'm the senior tourism officer of Bali City. I would start by welcoming you uh, for this program that is aiming at supporting the community of Bali City. The purpose as to why we are here, we are going to have our Nale run that is being that is being supported by the Durable Tour and Travel Company that is funded by Peps Bali City. Okay, thank you, Willie. I know some sometimes it becomes a bit uh, tricky if <laughs> you have not mastered the art of uh, speaking <laughs> behind the camera. The camera speaking right. behind the camera, I know it's not easy, but uh, slowly we'll get there. Right now, we'll get there. And another Michael is my name. Michael is the director for Global Tours and Travel. Global Tours and Travel has uh, an office in Kampala along Parliament Avenue. Because Jubilee Insurance. We also have an office in Jinja next to Bank of Baroda, that is uh, uh, Bank of Baroda on Iganga Road. We felt we needed to extend services back home. I'm not being, I don't want to be misquoted here. Back home may mean Jinja, may mean Kampala, may mean Bali, but for this specific case, I'm talking about Mbale. Why Mbale? Mbale has a very nice scenario for tourism and the purpose for this run is tourism and charity. Tourism being that uh, we have a lot of potential to exploit here that has not been exploited. We have lots of mountains here to look at, very beautiful uh, rivers rolling down the, the mountains. We have the, the highest, uh, one of the highest peaks uh, which is called Wagagai and we felt we needed to help people out to know what exactly what we're about. Uh, when it comes to, to, to charity, we are not saying these hospitals don't have, they already have, but we are saying, can we be able to give them the little that we can afford? And we can always this little from people like you, from institutions like Pepsi, from institutions like uh, the communication industry, from other institutions that have decided to do this with us. So we are saying on day one, which is 6th of uh, October, we want to visit want to visit uh, CP Falls, then from CP Falls we'll be coming back to Mbale, have a rest. On 7th we are saying we have so many good hotels in Mbale, why can't people know that? We are saying can we take a drive to Mbale town and visit so many of these hotels and probably interact with the hotel manager and hotel owners. Why that? We want people to know if I came to Mbale where do I sleep? If I wanted the five star where do I get it? If I wanted the two star where do I get it? Or if I wanted the bed and breakfast, where do I find it? So it is prudent that we get to know some of these places. Um, that is day, day, day two, which is seven. And thereafter, in the evenings, we will converge at uh, Wash and Wills. So people interaction here and there. We get to know one another. We get to see how we can do business collectively. How do tourism incorporate hotels? That is the basis for this. Then uh, on day three, which is the 8th of October, we are saying, can we exercise, can we run? Where are we running to? We are running to Boom Bumboi. Why Bumboi? We have an Echo Zoo that is coming up and we want people to know this zoo. So, when we get to Bumboi, we will visit the Echo Zoo from the Echo Zoo. We will need to know the cultural grounds for, for Babis, which is in Toto. It is a shame, I mean, to tourism. Um, I hail from this place, but I've never been to Mtoto, so I wanted to take advantage of this event to ensure that I also get to, to see where Mtoto is. And something else that I need to share with you people is that uh, there is a lot of money in tourism. The government is willing to spend a lot of money on tourism. UDB is very willing to sponsor any tourism activity. I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So we are saying, how do we market? Kadodi. 
to be honest, I think I've been to about four events in the world. And the biggest event I've seen in the world is the Brazilian Carnival. It attracts over 10 million people. The other thing that I've seen that has lots of people is uh, the matters in Amgongo. Then the other is, I don't want to mention it here, but you know, we have nothing to do. It's Nyege Nyege. And after that, I don't think there's any activity that attracts thousands of people like, like Kadobi. So why can't we put this, why can't we draw, I mean, drive this to, towards becoming like a, a Brazilian carnival? It is very possible. We can do it. We can do it. So I'm saying next year we need to position ourselves very, very well to ensure that we promote circumcision, we promote our Kadodi. We can get these people go do their Kadodi on the carnivals in Brazil. We need people to appreciate why do the shoes run after Kadodi? Not only the shoes, I have not seen anybody in this world if Kadodi passes here that does not nod either his head or stamps his feet on the ground. So I'm saying, can we collectively promote tourism in Bali? Circumcision is tourism. There are so many people who may want to come and be part of that, that event. So we are saying we need to push this. And I cannot push it alone. We need to do this collectively. Together we can do it. So. I'm also saying, let's run, let's get fit. We are running for a cause. There are mothers out there that uh, probably are sleeping on, uh, on the mats. <coughs> I don't want to single out for speakers who have seen phone people sleeping down because I don't have promise of health. But uh, I'm saying, with the little that we're going to generate from this, we want to buy 120 mattresses to be shared among for hospitals, for health centers. We are talking about the Fumbo Hospital, we are talking about the Matala Hospital, we are talking about the Samadhan and the Hospital Centers. So we are saying this run is for a cause. It's not just for, it's both for fun, tourism, and health wise. So I'm saying let's be there, let's run for a cause, let's be able to facilitate, to give back to the community. And to sum it up, we have a lot of talent that has been untapped in Bali here. The, um, I met the, I talked to Beatrice because she's the general secretary of the Athletic Federation of Uganda. She told me there's a lot of talent in terms of athletics. So, can we take advantage of this? Can we promote our own people? So guess what? What would you, wouldn't you be happy if you have a one protege from Bali, you have a Masaba in the name of protege? running in France, running in Netherlands, running in the UK. You do not know how much money they will have brought back home. You know, so we are saying, can we slowly, together, collectively, support the Athletic Federation of Mbali? So we are saying, some of the proceeds from this, from this run, we are going to buy <coughs> running kits for the Athletic Federation of, um, of Mbali. And I'm saying this before the press, I've spoken to to the managers of the Athletic Federation of Mbari, I've told them I want four, four youngsters between the age of, of uh, 16 and 24. I want to sign them up, I want to meet their parents, and I, I feel I need to change somebody's life. I want to leave a story behind. Okay. So if I can pull four, I'm sure some other people can pull like two or one. Before you know it, we have about a hundred athletes hailing from the BC. So. I'm calling upon everybody that is going to be to listen to this, to view, to watch this, to be part of this. Let's let's do this together. We can't do it alone. We are asking people to come and join us in this run. Make sure we get some resources to enable those that are, we are running after the hospitals and the